hello and welcome to the first More Sorax video review. So I was given a Steam code for Dungeon Death Ball by developer Matt Glanville. His name will ring a bell for viewers of mine. He's a very talented chap who developed Switch and Shoot, Ghost Grab 3000 and Singled Out. All of which I reviewed for the Switch over on my Sorax based channel, the main one. All good games, but this is probably the best of the lot. Dungeon Death Ball is a turn based battler stroke sports game where you are held captive by some evil bloke with a massive head called The Judgment. A name which evidently isn't a reference to the judgment he's made regarding dental hygiene. Unless, ironically. You've all been held in a dungeon full of monsters, and the only way out is by conquering the judgment's cruel and murderous idea of a game. The objective of each round is to cross the line on the other side of the map as efficiently as possible, either by dodging or defeating the monsters in your path. There are also traps and obstacles to navigate on your journey to victory, and ultimately, your freedom. Each turn you can move squares, attack, or do both, all of which cost stamina, so you'll have to choose your moves wisely. To get the best score, you'll need to cross the line with the ball in your hands, collect the gems, and reach the finish line in the fewest number of turns possible. If you diddle daddle above the par number, each turn the board gains another electrifying column, which, if your player is left standing on, doesn't end too well for them. You get two separate players to move around to start with, but you only need one to cross the line to progress, with the option to buy new friends with gold in the next round. Just like real life, isn't bribery wonderful? Each turn the monsters reveal what move they'll make next, whether that's a physical movement across the board or an attack, so clever dungeon death ballers can anticipate this and use it to their advantage to avoid or take down the enemies, possibly by even pitting them against each other by knocking them into each other's paths. Clever. Each monster has its own unique abilities, with some being stationary but others being able to move and attack across the entire length of the board, almost playing like a game of chess. Choose your player classes wisely, as some are better at throwing the ball as a weapon, some have more stamina so they are able to make more moves, and some have better strength to deal more damage. There's also ball modification, which isn't as painful as it sounds, and perks to obtain so there's plenty to experiment with. Fans of pixel art will not be disappointed here as the graphics serve the game well, as does its banging soundtrack, which is a constant theme I've grown to appreciate throughout Mac Glanville games. The difficulty feels well balanced as passing the levels isn't too taxing, but getting those better grades and scores by collecting all those gems along the way is a challenge, but a fun one. There's a good level of replayability here as well, in the daily challenges, a grading system, and high score leaderboards. Not only that, but new modes unlock upon completion of the main game. It's a shame though that it's not available on the Switch, at least not yet anyway, because it's a clever concept for a casual game and would be a perfect little time passer on journeys as a handheld. The rounds are short and designed in an arcade fashion in the usual Glanville way, so handheld really would have suited it, but I guess Steam Deck will be a thing soon, so... Overall, Matt's done it again. He's created a fun, highly addictive game in the retro pixel art style so many of us are fond of. And once more, it's a game I can strongly recommend you check out. Just don't blame me when you're helplessly addicted to Death Ball. Then. Dungeon Death Ball is available now on Steam. The link is in the description. As is a link to Matt's website, which you should definitely take a look at. Check out his work. He's a really talented developer who earns all the praise he gets, trust me. And you can check out my reviews of his other games on my main channel, Sorax Space, as well. Thanks for watching, and remember, subscribe for more Sorax. Cheers, all.